بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحبة في الله continue on in our discussion of the 11th point uh, in شر السنة where Imam Baba Hadi uh, said or the عنوان or the title of this point in the treaties where he said رحمه الله تعالى or where uh, he, he didn't say this but this is uh, the the title or the uh, the main point of this portion of his treaties is that there are no analogies in the Sunnah. And the Sunnah, as we mentioned, is in reference to uh, issues of Aqidah. And so I wanted to continue <coughs> by mentioning some narrations as quickly as possible, just a couple uh, that affirm for us that we affirm Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes. Uh, in the way that he subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed them in the Quran and as and also that he the way in which he subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed it on the tongue of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, in the sound authentic narrations transmitted to us from Ahla Hadith that this is the aqeed of Ahla Sunnah and this is a qaida azima a qaida of Ahla Sunnah wal Jama'ah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from Ahl sunnati wal jama'ah. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. Qala al-Walid ibn Muslim rahimahullah ta'ala sa'altu Malik ibn Anas wa Sufyan al-Thawri wa Uza'i an al-Akhbari al-Lati fi sifat faqal amuruha kama ja'at jameel jiddan. Allah yibarak fikum. Al-Walid ibn Muslim rahimahullah ta'ala said that he asked uh, Malik ibn Anas Rahimahullah Ta'ala Imam Malik and Sufyan al-Thawri Rahimahullah Ta'ala wa Uza'i Rahimahullah Ta'ala on the uh, about the issue the issues or the akhbar the news or the khabar around the uh, divine attributes of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala about the narrations regarding the divine uh, characteristics of our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala who we worship alone and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of the muwahideen those people who yuhaqqiquna tawheed who actualize tawheed in its full reality and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to enter Jannah bi ghayri hisab ameen so he said with regards to this or they said Rahimahullah Ta'ala, Rahimahumullah, that we were commanded uh, that they were commanded or that they advised him to follow or believe in those sifat, those divine attributes as they were revealed kama ja'at as the, in the same way they were revealed meaning that you don't there's no need to change and distort the meanings of uh, the ayat in the Quran or in the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam regarding those divine sifat because they are perfect and they are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sifat and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned those things about himself and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned them about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we believe in the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we believe in his sunnah and we don't there's no need to go to our intellect and then begin to change the meaning in order to fit our individual intellects because my intellect is different than yours your intellect is different than your shaykhs his, his intellect is different from the Sufi Marid and the Sufi Marid's intellect is different from his his sheikh or his alam who is from Ahl Tasawwuf, etc. That all of our intellects are uh, very, the, the intellect differs from person to person. So there's no way we would all come up with the same uh, understanding of who our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is, but rather we are ordered to follow those and believe those divine uh, uh, sources. The Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and as they are articulated 
uh, the divine attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We affirm what Allah affirms about himself and what his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirms about him. And we negate what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates about himself and what his messenger alayhi salatu wa salam negated about him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qala Sufyan uh, ibn Ayyina rahimahullah ta'ala kullu ma wasafa Allah ta'ala bihi nafsuhu fil Qur'an faqaratuhu tafsirihi or tafsiruhu wala kayf wala mithal. Sufyan ibn Ayyina, rahimahullah ta'ala, one of the tabi'een, he said, everything, uh, everywhere in the Qur'an, that, or every place in the Qur'an where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described his self, the Almighty, I've read it, and I've read the tafsir of it, I've read the tafsir of it. This is what Sufyan ibn Ayyina, one of the tabi'een, rahimahullah ta'ala, said. He said, I've read the tafsir for each of those ayat. And then he said, Wala kayf, and there's no how, no asking how about them. Wala mithal, and no making a resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his creation. This is what Ahlul Sunnah believes. So beware of those people who lie about Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and lie about Ahlul Sunnah all the time and say, call us majessima. Say that we, because we affirm that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has hands, <clears throat> and we affirm that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does those attributes which he subhanahu wa ta'ala says about himself, they say that we're making a resemblance. Yastalzim, in the aqulihim, that there's a resemblance. Have a batal, abdal al batal. That's falsehood that it necessitates. They say that it necessitates the fact that you say if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has hands, or that you say Allah rose above his throne, or that you say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest heaven in the last third of the night, that he is doing something which his creation does, that you're making a resemblance. Have a battle. Allah said it about himself. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said it about him, alayhi salatu wa salam. So then what do you have to say about that? What do you have to say? Are you saying the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam made tishbi? Are you saying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself made tishbi when he subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Kitab al-Kareem, laysa kamithli shay was wa sami al-basir, that he subhanahu wa ta'ala said that there is nothing, laysa kamithli shay, that there's nothing that resembles him. No tishbi wa sami al-basir. But, and he has, uh, and he hears and sees all things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates that there's a resemblance and affirms at the same time that he possesses attributes of hearing and seeing. Yes, we uh, uh, hear and see. Yes, ants hear and see. Yes, elephants hear and see. Yes, rats hear and see. Yes, jinn hear and see. Yes, the creation hear and, hears and sees. But unlike Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's no resemblance. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is perfect in his sight, in his hearing. We're limited. We need glasses. We need laser surgery. We need all these things to fix our eyesight, and our eyesight is still limited. We still can't see, I can't see beyond this wall. I can't see behind the computer. I can't see beyond this book. Because we're limited. And there's no resemblance between al-khaliq and makhluq. There's no resemblance between the creator of the heavens and earth and the makhluq, which is da'if. We're weak. We're weak. وَقَالَ رَبِيعَ ibn عَبْدُ الرَّحْمَنِ رَحِمَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى الرحمن Al-Istawa غير مجهور وكيف غير معقول ومن الله رسالة ومن رسول البلاغ وعلينا تصديق Beautiful قاعدة I'm going to leave it there It's a beautiful Actually I'll, I'll mention the statement of Sheikh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah right after this Beautiful from our Salaf Again from the Salaf We have the Salaf You guys have Ahl Bida and Ahwa We have the Salaf for this Ummah Here's what Rabi Ibn uh, Abd Rahman said رحيم الله تعالى he said, astawa ghayra majhul. He said that uh, astawa, to raise above, is not unknown. Meaning it's ma'roof. It's known that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne in a manner that suits his majesty. And we understand that from the Arabic language. The Arabs understood this. Al astawa ghayra majhul. It's not unknown. But the how is incomprehensible. Women Allah Risala, and from Allah is the, the message. The Quran was revealed from, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a speech, it's a divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uncreated. 
And from the messenger was relaying that message. And it's upon us to believe. Bas, that's all you have to do. Believe. That's what we have to believe. That's Iman, the six pillars of Iman. You have to believe it. You don't have to ask how. You don't have to go into depth. You don't have to do anything that the Salaf didn't do. You don't have to ask some things that the Sahaba didn't ask. You just believe. It's a And you're safer in your deen that way. You're safer in your religion. When you get into the philosophy and you try to use your intellect to try to understand things, understand things that the Prophet ﷺ didn't articulate for you, go into issues that the Sahaba never discussed, that they didn't uh, deal with, then you get into trouble. That's where you get into the bid'ah. That's where you get into new manahij, new uh, methodologies, and new understanding of the religion, which Allah gave no permission for us to uh, speak about and indulge in. Ayyu al Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve us and you and forgive us and you for our many, many shortcomings. Qala Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, ayyidhan. Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala said, In the madhhab al-salaf al-ummah wa a'immatihim huwa and yusuf Allah, yusuf Allah bima wasafa bihi nafsuhu wa bima wasafa bihi rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in ghayr ta'rif wa la ta'teel wa la ta'keel wa la ta'mthil fa la yujuz nafi sifatillah allati wasafa biha nafsuhu ولا يجوز تمثيلها بصفات المخلوقين بل هو سبحانه ليس كمثله شيء وهو سميع بصير وليس كمثله شيء في ذاته ولا في صفاته ولا في صفاته ولا في أفعاله right there it's laid out شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمه الله تعالى will stop there he said that from the madhhab of the salaf of this ummah and its imams is <clears throat> that Allah is described by the way he described himself and by how his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam described him without <clears throat> changing the meaning or distorting the meaning changing it to fit your intellect, as we said, and not negating his divine uh, names or his divine sifat, his attributes, and not asking how about those divine names and attributes, and not making a resemblance between his divine names and attributes and to that of his uh, creation. It's not permissible to negate what Allah has affirmed about his, his attributes, about himself. And it's not permissible to make a resemblance between the, his, his divine sifat, his attributes, and that of the creation. But rather, Allah the Almighty said, there is nothing that resembles him, and he is he see, he's the all-seeing, all-hearing. There is no resemblance between him in and of himself and his creation, nor with regards to his uh, attributes, nor with regards to his actions. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.